Navigating a divorce or a child custody dispute all by yourself can be tough, and hiring a lawyer is too expensive for many people. That's why the Colorado Supreme Court has recently approved a program to make access to legal help more affordable for people with family law issues. Jessica is an attorney and you looked into this. I did. So the Supreme Court has officially approved a new job called a licensed legal paraprofessional. It's basically like a nurse practitioner, but mm -hmm. of family law. They come at a lower cost than lawyers and would be able to help families navigate several issues. That's today's Justice with Jessica. As far back as he can remember, Kyle Melcher knew he wanted to help people navigate the legal system. It's very fulfilling and meaningful work. He's the lead paralegal at family law firm Gindelman Climus Limited. I talk firsthand with the clients um, on the phone all the time. I set um, appointments on attorney's calendars. Um, I do a lot of legal drafting. And soon he hopes to do more than that. Melcher is one of many paralegals who's hoping to become a licensed legal paraprofessional or LLP. In March, the Colorado Supreme Court created the new legal occupation, which would allow LLPs to complete and file standard pleadings, represent clients in mediation, and accompany clients to court and answer a court's factual questions. This is for family law cases. They just can't present oral arguments or examine witnesses in a hearing. Essentially a nurse practitioner role. Retired District Judge Angela Arkin was on the Colorado Supreme Court subcommittee that brought the LLP program to life. She says last year more than 70 percent of people in family law cases represented themselves. I spoke with some people who did just that back in September. It sucks to know that there's mothers and fathers out there that yeah, essentially give up because we, it, it feels it feels hopeless. I kept getting really discouraged, I guess, um, because a lot of my paperwork that I would uh, fill out and turn in, it wasn't acceptable because I didn't like fill it out a certain way or they threw it out. The LLP program was created to allow access to justice to people who can't afford attorneys and help take some pressure off the already busy family law courts. People with legal advice when they come to court are much better prepared and it requires a lot less judicial time to assist them in moving forward in their lives. According to the Colorado Supreme Court, LLP applicants have to meet certain educational requirements and have completed 1,500 hours of substantive law-related practical experience, including 500 hours of experience in Colorado family law within the last three years. Exceptions can apply. The Community College of Denver really recognizes um, the importance of access to justice as an equity issue. Carrie James is helping structure the legal education that some applicants will have to go through to become an LLP. In this coming fall semester, starting in September, we're going to launch the LLP ethics course online as non-credit so that anybody who wants to take the class um, can register and take the course. Additional education will be implemented after that. The first LLP exam is set to take place in April of 2024. Melcher feels like he's waited his whole career for this moment. I have a lot under my belt and a lot of experience, and I am very excited to share that with the community. For more information on the exact qualifications to become an LLP, go to our website, denver7.com. The first Colorado LLPs could receive their licenses as soon as July of 2024.